Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Open XCOM. So our Sky Ranger is uh, returning from the the city that was once Casablanca. It's a big hole right now, um, but it was a decent terror site. I think uh, even better <clears throat> with the research we can get out of it. We managed to get a sectoid leader, which is fantastic. Um, I think first off, as soon as we get this navigator done, though, I, I think we're gonna get the alien grenade though because I cannot resist alien grenades. But for now, we're going to okay, get some general stores done and sit back and see what else we can get. Um, oh, one of those was oh Pacific. Oh, nice. Um, I'm thinking what I want to do here. Okay, here's a plan. I think I'm going to put my Dark Star at this base. So I'm going to build a second hangar. Um, hang on, we'll put another one. Um, I'm wondering if I should just yeah, we'll do a we'll. Do a hangar for the Dark Star, and we'll put an interceptor over here so we can shoot some things out. It's close enough to the Egypt base that I don't think I need to put another Sky Ranger over here. But that way, I can I can remove a hangar at Egypt and make a little more room over there. Um, so I have general stores, living quarters, radar. Do I have anything else over here? Um, I think we're okay. I mean, I could turn this into like a workshop base. I wonder if I should do that. Um. We'll hold off for now, but that might be a good idea. We'll think about it. Okay, so we're going to sit back and just let time go. Oh, we got a little guy. Alright, I'm going to go grab him. Over Spain, eh? It is a large scout. We can take him out. Grab him over land. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, okay. Uh, give me one second. I'll equip the craft and we'll go get him. All right, we're ready to go. So let's go and get it. Hopefully, he stays down long enough. I'm gonna guess he will, though. And go grab him. Are we gonna stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Nice. All right, let's do this. Uh, one more second. I have to. Equip. All right, here we go. We're in uh, some sort of a forest terrain, I guess. First, we're going to do our usual thing, throw out these guys. And, yep, need to go ahead and toss that one right there. Do we know where we are yet? Uh, not really. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. Let's see if we have another, uh, another mixed, mixed race combo. Right, we're going to let uh, Simone take the first step. Oh, there it is right there. Look at that. Um, to go that way. Oh, there's a corner there and corner down here. Let's hang out behind this tree. <clears throat> I think you can kind of. Um, this, these maps are uh, rearranged a bit, so there there may be a door down here or over here. We don't necessarily know. This might be a good spot for our rocket launcher. So let's run out there. Oh, we got a floater. What is he carrying? What kind of gun is that? I can't really tell. Uh, Hingle McCringle might be able to handle him. If we go right there, we should be able to get a snap on him. Maybe we can take a knee. We find that little tree there, but that shouldn't save him too much. Whoa! What? Whoa! <laughs> what? That was. Oh man, friendly fire. <laughs> Why? Oh man, why are we so bad? Oh yeah. Alright, you just take a knee there. Um, should we let Scully handle it? Oh, Meridian has a sniper rifle. How about that? Here, uh, you're stuck there, Hinkle. Oh, Hinkle. You only, you only get a snap, but... Oh yeah. Not gonna happen. Do you have any more rockets? Um, I'm tempted to have Scully. I don't know. Maybe maybe we can take him out. Maybe we can plop down right here. Oh, how do we miss that guy? Um, yeah, just load him up. One shot. Right. Oh, oh, get that. Oh, get that tree. There you go. Oh, he's unconscious. Nice. Get another floater. Be nice. 
Uh, you come over here along with Jay's tank. And then we're gonna let Mr. Badger... He's gonna run this way, too. What kind of ammo are you carrying? I should've looked at that. Uh, you have explosive. Okay. Space Voyager, I'm gonna let you... Head over this way, behind these trees. We'll let you storm the ship. Are you carrying a stun rod? No. Uh, Kazak, are you carrying a stun rod? No. <clears throat> Somebody over here needs a stun rod. Do you have one? No. Meridian has one. Okay, Meridian will handle the stun rod. Let me pass it off since he's a sniper. We'll do some of that. Take a knee. And, alright. It was, uh, we would be doing a lot better if we weren't shooting rockets at each other. Um, alright, Meridia, or, uh, Mr. Badger. Let's go this way. Whoa! Where is he? Where? Oh, right there. He's floating. Okay. Uh, McCringle. Alright, McCringle. You get another chance of this. A snapshot, which isn't the greatest, but go for it. There you go. There you go. It's the guys with the capes. That's who you're supposed to be shooting at. Uh, Meridian? Yeah, you're supposed to go inside the ship, aren't you? That's probably a good spot. See anything? Nope. Um, I can put something up here, too. Anybody have a uh, like nice explosive? Maybe McCringle will go up there. That might be his spot. Alright, Jay Stank. Right here, you need to get, in that, get into the ship with that. Oh, there's the door right there. Okay. Pro Baru. I'm gonna just... You know, I'm gonna set you right here. So in case somebody comes out, you can do something about it. Let's see. Oh, we're gonna leave you up here as well. <clears throat> and Space Voyager's gonna come around this side. Go ahead and take a knee. And Kazak needs to get in the ship as well so with that shotgun. Uh, oh, you can keep moving. Move a little bit more. Is that everybody? I think it is. Oh, Scully. Um, I'll leave you out here. Go ahead and we'll go check out this corner of the map. I mean, I guess we didn't really look over all the way over here. We probably shouldn't do that. Just to make sure. I'm going to leave you, though. Alright. <clears throat> Jason will move up. Um, can you get to there? Uh, that's probably good. That tiny little tree might do you something. Just run behind the tree. Hey, Zach. Is 14 enough to shoot this? No. So, you can go there. Uh, maybe you'll get a reaction shot off if something steps out. Probably not, but maybe. Simone will head up to the door as well. And Meridian's gotta go because he has a stun rod. He has a sniper rifle. I probably should've given him off the sunrod. He had the uh, the weight to carry it, though. So that's what kind of way he got it. So we've gotten, what, three of them? I'm assuming there's going to be a lot more. This is a large scout one, so he's usually around eight on there, I think. This is landed, so there's no dead guys. Anybody? Scully, let's check out over here. Oh, McCringle. Um, go ahead and load up. And, you know, just run over here real quick. And now I need to get you on that perch. Uh, yeah, just do it. Go over here. I'm worried there's something hanging out in this corner, so... I'll let McCringle do that. Oh, man. Somebody's a really bad shot. Uh, Stunrod. Maybe he's somebody important. Probably not, but maybe. Um, so Meridian. I want you to toss this to Kazak. You probably need to go here in order to get it to him. Just throw it there. Kazak, pick this dude up. And you're gonna step there. And then get him. Yeah. Take that, dude. Alright, uh, well, yeah, just keep it in your hand. That's fine. Um, Simone's gonna step here. And hey, there's another guy. 
Now, what are the chances he's out of time units and I can stun him as well? What are the chances? Um, um, we're going to find out. Kazak, suicide mission, maybe. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, nice job! Oh. Alright, uh, Meridian, I'm going to let you come around here. Alright, everyone, let's get to the ship. I mean, if anything, um, we can sell these live guys for a lot more money than dead ones. So, if anything, this will help our pockets. If, say, we're getting soldiers or things, you know? That's, that's a plus. Kazak like, may not appreciate his life being nearly squandered like that, but he'll be alright. He'll get over it. Let's check out over here. Make sure there's no one over here in this corner. Any floaters over here? Nope. Ah, Space Voyager. Um, I think the ship's kind of taken care of, so let's take a look over here and then head back this way. Let's make sure that corner's alright. Look up and down since they are floaters. Um, oh, he's in the way, isn't he? Alright, so if someone steps out that door, you're going to be in trouble. Alright, good. All's quiet. There's two doors. This is a different layout. We do have one. Oh, we can get him, too. Oh, yeah, Stone Rod's going to get a lot of use. Nice. Um, you're going to have to just stay there. Simone's going to come help you out, though. He's going to come right there. There you go. Uh, keep an eye on that door. And Meridian. I should have given you the machine pistol. Um, I'll leave you later. Poor Brew's going to come check out this door. There you go. And Jay Stank. Would you get in there, right there? I am going to send Meridian in. Even though he has the sniper rifle, he does also have a high explosive, which could come in quite handy. So we're going to go this way. Any of you have a proximity grenade? Maybe? I didn't load very many. Who has one? Pro Brew has one. Hey, there we go. We might use that. Can you get on top here? I don't think so. This is a not an interesting rock formation. Alright, this is clear over here. I think it's, this is clear. It's looking like all that's left is what's in the ship. So we're going to play it that way. Yeah, that's quick. So there's got to be just one dude left. Alright, Kazak. Nobody? Nobody in here. Was this a conference room? There he is. Um, can we get... I don't think so. Oh, is there a wall there? Oh, man. Um, Jay Stank. Take the chance. You got it. What's, what's your... That is a pretty good accuracy. You got it. Oh! Oh, it hurts. Okay, well. You got him a couple times. He's alright. Pro Brew will do the job. Uh, just auto-shot him. Load him up. No, him, not the wall. There you go. Done. Only death was by my own hand, of course, as it as it happens all the time. Alien habitat. Interesting. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, research. What do we get? What do we get? We got a floater engineer. Nice. Soldier engineer. <clears throat> We're just loaded. With live dudes. Um, how much can my alien containment hold? It has a limit. Um, we can only carry three more. So we should probably research one of those soldiers. Uh, and then and then start selling them off. After that. But, uh, we're still 15 minutes, so yeah, let's keep on going here. I don't have Stingray missiles. Alright, let's buy some of that stuff. Stingray missiles. Buy quite a few of those. Is there anything else that we need while we're here? Is it time to buy a tank? I'm a wondering if I should grab a tank. I mean, it may make things a little bit easier. I like this gun. I'm going to grab another one of these. It would make things a little bit easier on uh, terror sites, probably, to have one. I don't know if it's time yet. I'm really bad about 
getting them destroyed. And they're so expensive. That's, that's a bad thing, too. It's a bad habit, getting them destroyed. We have we still have one lab. We could also build another base. We may, we may wait till April for our third base uh, over here in the Americas. Some more in the Americas. I'm trying to decide if I want to have... Maybe put just a small base here in Australia. And small, U.S., small, South America. That might be pretty much worldwide coverage there. I mean, otherwise, we have South Africa here. I need... I'm having to use a Dark Star. Um, yeah, keep, stay over here. I need to start using him. I know that. I already bought them. Until we get that radar build. I'm going to leave him. Uh, probably best actually to sit right here where you were before. See what we can find. Okay. And we're just going to sit and wait for some more excitement. The course is done. Navigator is done. What do we get? Floaters are the uh, pri are primarily soldiers and terror agents. Predatory beasts and uh, genetically engineered and cybernetically enhanced to make formidable warriors. All right. Uh, this is the most insidious form of alien activity. The abduction by aliens is widely reported. Despite the aliens' attempt to erase the experience from their victims' memories, abductees report being subject to humiliating physical examinations, including impregnation of alien fetuses and bizarre genetic experiments. I've seen that happen on The Sims before. The purpose behind this activity appears to be linked to genetic mutation and manipulation of the aliens' own genetic material. This activity causes great alarm and occurs in populated areas or cities. Okay, uniform navigation and alien origins. Is that all I get? something. Um, I think first I want to get the alien grenade. Because I, I need my grenades. I need alien grenades badly. I have a problem. Uh, living quarters is done. Okay, we can actually start putting something over. And we have living quarters. What should, I, what should I do with this base? Should I make it a manufacturing base? That might be a good idea. I'll build a few labs over here. And, uh, and... <laughs> Manu not mat, not labs, uh, workshops. And we will just manufacture it up. We'll need to build, we have money, we'll do two of them for now. As soon as those get built, we'll put in some uh, engineers. Um, I'm going to buy a couple soldiers just to defend the base. Spending our money. Just in case it gets attacked, that's going to be their job. Just to play defense. Or I keep on going. A large one. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? No. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> I thought for sure he was doing bad things. Um, I want to keep an eye on him, though. So let's see what he thinks he's doing. He's going fast. Is that... Um... Where's he going? Oh, he's back. He's either looking for a terror site or he's looking for my base. He's doing the, the zigzag look for base kind of thing. Which I think he might be doing. Which is concerning. I mean, I could build some missile defenses, but I never have luck with missile defenses. They always seem pretty worthless. Let's go get this one. Um, hopefully. Down here, make sure we keep sight on him. Uh, we're gonna lose him. Right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go back because he's going pretty far out there. I mean, I have the fuel. Oh, there he is again. Right, let's get him now. Oh, look, what we just found. Look at that. Get him. Over water. What do we got? We got another large scout. Uh, let's get him over land. Okay, you're gonna go home. Come on, over land. Get out of the water. How's my fuel looking? 51, okay. Maybe over 
to be in here. Uh, right there. Get him. Alright, go to aggressive. Get him down. No, come on. Oh. Uh, what are we over land still? He's getting away. It's all faster than I am. Oh, he's on the ground now. Uh, can we make it there? Um, I'm gonna equip. We'll see if we can make it there before he takes off. Hang on a second. Alright, let's go see if we can grab this guy. One, he is a long ways away. I don't think we're gonna make it. Um, but if anything, we'll shoot him down. That's a concern, though. Alien base. I, I, I kind of assumed there was something going on over there with all the activity. Oh, you're out of fuel. Um, well, that's a problem. Let's see if he'll stay there long enough for my second interceptor to get there. He may not. So we'll see if he's still there. If he's still there, I don't think he's my Sky Ranger when I get in time, but we might be able to get there in time and then shoot him down. Oh, he's still there. Okay, uh, well, you need to uh, intercept. Yep. And then uh, we'll just wait till he gets closer. I think he'll lift off. What's he doing there? Camping out. We'll grab that. Can you get it? You gonna get there? You gonna get there? There we go. Perfect. Uh, we're already at 22 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a cut in this episode, and we will pick up uh, the next one for uh, this one. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya.